This is going to be a guide on how to remove the forks and triple tree from a KLR650. If you get the front wheel uh, fender and fairing off, next thing to do is uh, remove the instrument cluster. And uh, there's some wires that you need to undo, but and there's this cover that goes over the wires. There are two Phillips screws holding the cover on. There was one right here and on the other side, uh, remove those, cover comes right off, looks like that. Uh, you also need to undo the cables here, all the connectors. Uh, Got to undo the speedo cable right here. That might take a little bit as I put some Loctite on there. After the wires are all undone, and as, I can, as you can see, I've labeled them so I know where they go. Don't have to play the guessing game with shapes and sizes. The next thing to do to get the fork off is uh, remove the brake caliper and hang it with a piece of wire so that it's not hanging by the hose. Uh, you need an Allen head wrench, 6 millimeters, under these two bolts and it should come free. You also need to undo the reflector mounted right on there. Uh, it's a 10 millimeter nut. Next thing to do is loosen each of these uh, nuts and bolts. There should be four for each fork. Uh, they're 12 millimeters. Once these bolts are loose, just uh, twist the fork each direction pull down. Uh, do that until it comes all the way out and do the same thing on the other fork. It's got uh, two bolts on top, two bolts on bottom, then twist and remove. Once you get the forks off, the next thing to do is take off the steering stem nut right here, uh, tits under where the handlebars would cross. I'm going to use a 1 and 1 16th socket. Uh, I can't recommend doing that because it's a metric bolt and mixing standard metric is usually not good, but it provides for a very tight fit. And so loosen this. Once the steering stem nut is removed, the top triple tree should lift right off like that. Don't lose shit. After you get the top triple tree off, the next thing to do is pull off this claw washer that was sitting on top of here, and then undo this nut. And to get that nut undone, I'm gonna use this device. All it does is grip in the little slots, and then turn it, and this comes undone. When you undo that, make sure you uh, support the bottom triple tree so that it doesn't go crashing to the ground and crunch your toes or do something bad to the uh, part. After you get the uh, steering stem and the bottom triple tree out, uh, clean the bearings and stuff. I used WD-40, just sprayed it on there over a cup so I don't get a mess everywhere. And to grease it, I'm going to use a grease gun and a straw. Uh, I did this on a bicycle tire, or wheel I should say. Hope this works, but stick the straw in as far as you can. Get a few pumps. Fills the straw up like that, and then you can direct where you want it to go, just squeeze the grease out. It works very well. Next thing to do is put the triple tree back in from the bottom, put the top bearing on right there, and secure it with this nut. To seat the bearings, uh, what you need to do is grab your tool here, and just so you know it's kind of awkward holding the camera with one hand and then doing the tool thing with the other. So it might look a little funky or off, but let's see. Put the tool on, seat it lightly, loosen it. After you get the bearing seated and the steering stem adjusted nicely, next step is to put the claw washer back on, right there, and Put the top part of the tree back on. Mm. 
like that. Then the washer. And last but not least, the nut. For now, before or while the forks are not mounted yet, just finger tight is good. Next thing to do is put the gauges back on. Voila. And then put the handlebars on so that you know pretty much where the wiring and the hoses and everything should go. Basic routing. So I just got the instrument package and the handlebars on. Got the control switches on both sides uh, mounted. Got the wiring harness hooked up. Um, got, I think I got the routing right. The next thing to do is put the forks in and make sure you get the right fork on the right side. First one I'm going to do is the left side. It's got the two holes there for the brake caliper. When you install the fork, um, the top of the triple tree top fork clamp should be one millimeter below the top of the fork tube. Uh, the, there's a little line that you can see where it's the uh, difference between the surface between the fork tube and the cap. Make sure you set it so that it's according to the fork tube, not the cap. So about like that. You can still see the line right in there. Next is to put the rest of the bike back together. So put the brake caliper back on. Uh, make sure the brake pads are moved apart so that you can put the wheel back on or get the brake between them when you put the wheel back on. Um, put the fairing back on. Once you get the bike put back together, um, you are done with your inspection and re-greasing of the steering stem. Um, hope you found this video helpful. Um, please rate the video and leave comments. Good luck! After the top triple tree is off, the next thing to do is get rid of this shit.